Welcome back fans of all things Disney. Today's video is going to be another pin unboxing video and I have two awesome new pin sets to share with you. The first one is going to be a lounge fly pin set and it is the Disney ice cream cones. I am so excited to get my hands on the stitch one or maybe even Winnie the Pooh. And then the next set is also lounge fly, but it is the new Winnie the Pooh honeycomb set. And I have, I think I have five boxes of each one. So I'm so excited to just go ahead and dig in. Just a reminder, we do a giveaway every single month here at the channel. So you're gonna wanna be a subscriber so we can get you entered. New subscribers in the month of the giveaway get three entries into the drawing. Existing subscribers, you always get one. And then you get additional entries when you're commenting on any videos uploaded over the course of the month. So go ahead and hit subscribe, be an active subscriber and comment on all of those videos so we can get you more entries. Now let's go ahead and jump into this pin unboxing. Now I am actually recording this the day of a pin sale. So all of these were up for sale in a pin sale that I did on February 13th, but there may be extras left over. So if you're seeing one in the unboxing that you're interested in that you'd like to purchase, you can go to the Facebook page, Mickey's Magical Delivery, and just see if it is still there for um, and it's still available. If it's still there and available, just either message me or email me at Mickey's Magical Delivery at gmail.com or you can comment under the pictures and I will try to get you the pins. But let's go ahead and jump in and truthfully, I'm going to start with the Winnie the Pooh honeycomb because I'm just so excited to dig into really both of them because I've never opened either one of these. But let's just see what we can find. Okay. Very first one. I don't have any, so any of them will be good. And they're actually quite large. Awesome. So there is a Tigger honeycomb pen. Very nice. Oh, they're so cute. Eeyore would, hmm, I think Eeyore is going to be the one that I'm going to be most interested in getting my hands on. Out of all of them, that and Pooh. Eeyore and Pooh. Let's see this one. Oh, awesome. So this is two characters. You've got rabbit and you have owl right in there together. And what's funny with this set is you cannot tell when you open it, there's no distinguishable characteristics of the pin. Um, so you just, you have to look. And of course I look and I'm so excited. All right. So here is the Eeyore pin that I wanted. Very cool. Okay. So two more boxes of the Winnie the Pooh honeycomb. Let's see here. See, hopefully I've got a Winnie the Pooh sitting here. I have my Eeyore. Let's see if we get a Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh is the chaser in this set. So that would be awesome if we could get our hands on Winnie the Pooh. And we don't, but that's a piglet. And that is an awesome little cutie there. All right, last one. Fingers crossed for Winnie the Pooh. So far, I don't have any duplicates. And the only other one would be um, Kanga and Roo. So let's take a look. So Winnie the Pooh would be awesome, right? So that's going to be what we're hoping for is Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh here. And we don't, we have a duplicate, but that is Piglet. And that is a pretty sweet duplicate. Very cute. All right. So we have our Winnie the Pooh honeycomb pins already unboxed. And that is an awesome set. The only other one that I have for this video is I have the ice cream um, cones that just came out. That Winnie the Pooh one is just adorable. Mini Mickey Stitch one, of course, I would want for myself. Marie or the Dalmatians, all of them are fantastic. All of them. So let's take a look and see. Six pins set. I think I have four boxes. All right, so with four boxes and six pins, I won't finish the set, but let's take a look. Oh, good. So we've got a Dalmatian one to start right out. And I love the way this pin looks. It very much looks like um, chocolate chip ice cream. My apologies. I started coughing just a second ago and now my eyes are watering. Oh my goodness. You have to love it. Okay. Next one. Four pin set. Let's see here. <clears> Hope <throat> oh, uh, it's not a stitch, but it is a mini mouse and that is a stinking cute little pin. Look at that with the cute little bow and you've got the pink little um, topping. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right. So now let's take a look. All right here. And a Mickey, 
very cool. All right, so two of the ones that I would have wanted the most. I don't have my stitch yet, but that's okay. Do I have, yeah, I do. I have two more boxes. So I had five boxes of that one, it looks like. Oh, I don't know if it's all the coughing or what, but my mind is just not working great lately. All right, let's take a look. Pin number four. Oh, awesome. All right, so that stitch, that one stays with me. I have my stitch pin board. I've had to um, go over to a totally different pin board because I have just so many stitch pins, but that one is going to stay at home with me. So hopefully this one will be another stitch one or Winnie the Pooh. If it's another stitch one, I'll be able to put it in the pin sale tonight. And as a reminder, you guys are watching this after the fact, um, but I do pin sales every couple of weeks. So, uh, no, it's not stitch, but it's a Mickey Mouse. Very nice. Very, very cool. All right. So that does it for those two styles of pins that I was unboxing in this video today. You will notice that I've done a lot of unboxing videos lately. And I have a couple more that I need to film, but that is, of course, because I'm getting ready for a pin sale. Now, you're seeing this after the fact. It's it's just <laughs> the way that it is. I did a haul video from the Character Warehouse last week, and it took me the entire week to process all of the orders. So for those of you that are new to the channel, you don't realize I'm a personal shopper, and I shop at the two Disney Character Warehouse locations in the Orlando area for people. And when I come home with, you know, six, seven thousand dollars worth of merchandise, um, it takes a long time to process all of those invoices. And it took the entire week, which meant I was behind on doing my pin unboxings in preparation for the pin sale. So now I'm trying to catch myself up. But if you are a lover of pins like I am, I just absolutely love Disney pins. I love everything about Disney pins now that I have become, begun the hobby I just love them. I make a beeline for Disney pins anytime we are in the store. So um, if you also love Disney pins, I absolutely feel your pain on that one. It's an awesome hobby, but oh my goodness, it definitely draws you in. So I started doing pin sales um, right at the tail end of when all the lockdowns were happening in large part because I had started experiencing pin sales myself and I appreciated the kind of the camaraderie and just the fun that was going on and truthfully participating in the pin sales when we were all on lockdown. I think it helped to give me a little bit of sanity. I didn't feel like I was completely isolated from everybody. I felt like there was at least a community out there that I could still participate in. So I decided that I would try my hand at it as well. And I have been enjoying it so, so much. I get to shop for pins. I get to do the mystery boxes and then anything that I don't end up keeping go into the pin sales. Um, and people really seem to appreciate having that opportunity. So if you think you'd like to participate in one of our pin sales, they are at Mickey's Magical Delivery Facebook page. So you'd head on over to that Facebook page. And when we do the live sales, if you're interested in claiming a pin, you just type sold and the number that you are interested in and we go ahead and calculate everything out and send you an invoice and they're very very user friendly and easy to participate in you can watch any of the videos from past sales just to kind of get a sense for what those are like if you think you'd like to give one a try check out the facebook page i post when our pin sales will be though i try to do them about every three weeks though i might be increasing the frequency now that we've got more and more people that um, are joining us that way um we're able to kind of just keep the pin inventory kind of rolling forward. But um, if you think you would like to join us or if you just have questions, feel free to send me an email at mickeysmagicaldelivery at gmail.com and I will answer any questions that you have. Just be patient. It might take me a few days to get to your email, but just be patient and I will certainly get back to you. So with all of that said, I have more pins to unbox before I do this next pin sale. So until our next video, bye-bye.